the climate hysteria movement is not about science. If it were about science, it would be led by scientists rather than by politicians and a mentally ill Swedish child who is being exploited by her parents and by the international How dare left. You. So what you're seeing here is a political movement and a religious movement, and it's uh, fulfilling uh, religious and political goals of the left, but it isn't doing very much for science. Chris, you had a visceral reaction to that. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you're a grown man and you're attacking a child. Shame on you. Fox News apologizes to Greta Thunberg after a pundit called her mentally ill. Yes, it's true. Fox News has apologized for what Michael Knowles has said, even though it is true. And BuzzFeed says so in their article, Welcome Back, Andrew says, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Fox News might apologize for me, but I will not. <laughs> Never apologize. Fox News apologized to 16-year-old climate activist Greta Thunberg on Monday after a conservative pundit called her a mentally ill Swedish child. Thunberg, who has Asperger's syndrome, delivered a powerful speech at the United Nations earlier in the day about the impact of, of climate change on her generation. Further down, Knowles continued, she is mentally ill, she has autism, she has obsessive compulsive disorder, she has selective mutism, she had depression. Fox News apologized for the comments on Monday night and said the network had no plans for Knowles to appear as a guest on future shows. In addition to her on-air appearances, Knowles writes opinion articles for foxnews.com. Fox News quoted here saying, the comment made by Michael Knowles, who is a guest on The Story tonight, was disgraceful. We apologize to Greta Thunberg and to our viewers, a Fox News spokesperson said. Now, I've tried to not talk about this girl for as long as possible because I don't care what a teenager thinks. It has nothing to do with her. Uh, I'm not going to take a teenager's cues on politics, environment, economics, etc. But it seems like there's a big faux outrage here, and the difference of it is based on saying mental illness versus mentally ill. Just like they reversed colored people, which was socially unacceptable to say because you're lumping all people together and it was language used to uh, segregate people in the, in the past but we've reversed it now so people of color is some for some reason okay because we want some way to talk to everybody who's not white and tell them that they're oppressed now it's pretty much the same thing mental illness and mentally ill and michael knowles is right her mother did write about this she documented this in a book called Scenes from the Heart, which revealed that Greta, Greta, revealed that Greta, <laughs> start getting British on, it revealed that Greta has Asperger's syndrome, and not only that, high-functioning autism and OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. As for the depression stuff, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I didn't look that hard into Greta's mother's book, excuse me. But here you have world leaders using a teenage girl who has multiple illnesses to push an agenda. So of course they want to find a reason to discredit somebody like Michael Knowles who is critical of it. Now you might, you, you might be saying they're not using kids to push this agenda. This is just one goal or one girl and she just happens to have these mental illnesses which can be overcome and, and she's still smart. So don't say that we're using children, especially those with mental illnesses, to push our agenda. We're just using Greta, <laughs> you can't even say it without saying that you're using her. We're just using Greta, who's just exceptionally smart for her age and knows exactly what to do for the rest of the world to push our agenda. So if you're saying it's not all about the kids that they're pushing, then how about this? This headline, Greta Thunberg and 15 others file a UN complaint against five countries. Now, filing a UN complaint against countries, of course, means nothing, if we can come back to me, because things that are agreed to in the UN are not legally binding, but it continues. The complaint accused Germany, France, Brazil, Argentina, and Turkey of failing to uphold their obligations under the Convention on the Rights of the Child, signed 30 years ago. That sounds pretty stupid. The complaint filed by the 16-year-old Swedish activist and 15 other petitioners from 12 different countries aged between 8 and 17. I'll say that again. Greta Thunberg and 15 other kids between the ages of 8 and 17, accused the five countries of violating children's rights by failing to take adequate and timely action against climate change. Of course, there's no statute anywhere in the world that says uh, taking a stance against climate change is a human right. So it's all completely made up. They're using children as young as 8 for this, which is crazy, but you're seeing it now. All the climate change rallies, 
And why are they doing this? Because racism didn't work? Because the impeachment processes didn't work, even though they're bringing that back again? Sexism claims didn't work? Feminism, ultra-crazy left-wing stuff didn't work? Violence in the streets? Sending out the kids for gun control didn't even work? So just indoctrinate all the kids. And I mean, what's the solution here? Why, of course, it's socialism. And what's better than that? is that they make these big complaints about climate change. This poor girl has to come up there and be like, how come nobody's doing anything? Because she's been convinced the world's coming to an end. So she's believing the world's ending, and nobody seems to care what she's saying, including Trump, who just walked right by her and made fun of her. And she's like, what's going on? And then so they get her up here, and they've chosen a protocol that doesn't even include the three biggest polluters, China, India, and the United States. So how can you not how can you not say that this is this is a farce, a ruse, anything anything that's showcasing that it's a lie? How can you not say say that and say that it's not biased? When they're clearly picking sides here within the climate control or the climate change debate. I can't even keep up with the terms anymore. So no China, no America, no India, the three biggest players in the world, not included in this complaint. You just go after these other countries that are gonna say, you know what? Uh, yes, Greta, you're correct. Uh, let's give money to the people who are in charge of you, and that'll shut them up. That's clearly what's going to happen. So, of course, now the reaction is, how dare you pick on this girl? Well, she's being used for propaganda is the one uh, re rebuttal you can have for that. But on the other side, people have said to the crazy people's credit who are saying that people are treating her horribly, for the most part, if you're going to put somebody at the forefront, like David Hogg, or now this girl, for your propaganda, they're going to get accused of things. But there are, to their credit, people saying ridiculous things. Now, I was partic particularly saddened by what I read from Dinesh D'Souza, because I generally think he's a smart guy, he's very good, and uh, has a lot of in-depth knowledge in American history, so I was kind of taken aback to read him say this. A little less so now that I've had time to think about it, but, but tell me how you react to this. Children, notably Nordic white girls with braids and red cheeks, were often used in Nazi propaganda, an old Goebbels technique. Looks like today's progressive left is still learning its game from an earlier left in the 1930s. Now, I mean, that's pretty ridiculous, I would say, and it's not that it's completely untrue. It's that when you compare people to Nazis, as we've seen over the past few years, it loses its meaning, it usually showcases you don't have a real argument, and it's a very, very weak example. So I'm pretty disappointed, even though... You can try to say, oh, it's different from the Nazis, but it was all socialism. They're all trying to point to socialism. They're using a, a young, uh, what is she, Swedish or Norwegian, I don't know, to push their propaganda. They're trying to indo indoctrinate all the kids, which is what they do in socialism environments. It's what they do in China, and it's what they do did with the Hitler Youth. So it's not completely untrue. It's just that it, it's not this little girl's fault. And you're playing in to the only hand they have, which is, how dare you? How dare you say this? And when it's an argument that's so easy to win like this, where it's a child, you kind of have to, you kind of have a duty to not denigrate the child who's already being abused and used for a political agenda. Now, they've already lost. This is why this is a, a big, I guess you could call it a win for them, the whole how dare you moments. And that's why they're ch trying to brainwash children, because they need this victory, they need this battle even though they've lost the the immediate vicinity of upcoming elections and maybe the next five to ten years they've probably lost. but So they're already shifting to the long game here. I'm talking the 20-year game, the 15-year game. They're trying to get the children before they've even had a chance to, to make up their own minds. They want to lower the age to 16. They want to start uh, getting kids voting. They want kids to be in adult relationships. They want them to have no idea of what their gender or their sexuality is. It's all the long game they're going for because I think it's pretty obvious they're going to lose again in America. They're going to lose in Canada. Macron in France is not going to be uh, voted back in. They've already started to lose in England with everything that's going on in Brexit. So they're trying to get the kids while they can get them. And oh yes, the kids will learn. They will learn once they're older that things aren't the way they are perceived or told to be. Now, I'm reminded of a time during the whole gun control debate with uh, the David Hoggs and such, their group that they had that were so excited to be famous, even though they were just chewed up and spit out. 
they went to Congress and they thought they had this great, this great, uh, I can't remember, it must have been the House. They went to the House with this great piece of legislation and it was completely shut down by both Democrats and Republicans and they're just like, what's going on here? And they were crying uh, as it was voted no on the floor. And so that's what I mean when they say they'll learn that it's not so easy to just be like, oh, we have the best of our hearts in mind and that that's all we need to change it and there's no corruption involved and the democrats are the ones that are on our side and want to force change no you're going to learn kids that you're being used and whether it's being used for 10 minutes or 10 weeks that it's all about funneling money into somewhere that you want it just like this climate change thing where it's like we're only going to choose what germany brazil these countries and not the countries that stand to gain the most from this from their pollution which is china and india if they can't win they're going to tear it all down and they're going to try to turn the children into their own little adults their own little soldiers so that maybe they can keep their power